Welcome back to Saturated in Love, Venus in Pisces, where we dive deep into the vibration of love. Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do a little something, something for Virgo. Virgos. <laughs> I've been doing all the monthlies a bit differently, okay? So I'm about to do a Celtic tarot spread for y'all because I want the Holy Spirit to, you know, guide me to mix it up. What I'm going to start doing is like the monthly overall energies for Divine Masculine and Feminine, which I did for July 2019. So both divine feminines and masculines in the collective will see what all of us are going through all signs, you know, pretty much overall the energies. And then in the monthlies, I'll break it down, but not in the same way always. So some people will get a heart, mind, body, soul spread. Some people will get a Celtic tarot cross spread. Some people will just get the week by weeks. Um, romance angel cards like you know i'm mixing it all up here i have my whispers of love my love and light oracle for divine feminine i have my power of love action card for the collective so i have different ways of getting about holy spirit's messages so today i just want to ask the holy spirit and i thank you all virgos for tuning in i thank you cross Ro cross watchers those dealing with a virgo who wants to like have some insight on their month well we're about to see in this spread and the Celtic cross spread is what I do for my private readings so if you want a paid and private reading never to be posted on the channel just email me saturated in love vip at gmail.com it is only eleven dollars and eleven cents so I do ask that you make a wish before you email me because it always is revealed in the cards and so we have six of cups we have a nice uh, indication of some someone from our past being in our present at the moment we have joy here shared with the cups okay we have love emotion overall in the collective energies for virgo for july lovely what helps or hinders you in this journey queen of swords what helps is that you're the queen of swords lately you have decided to be there for others you see her right arm i'm sorry her left arm is extended in a motion of here come Come, come, come on, come on. Approach me with your inquiry. You know, you're here to help. You are also here to take action. Your right arm is firmly grasping that sword. Okay, so it's a lot of communication from the Queen of Swords. This is the energies. So it's looking like you're emotional, but in a good way. Someone from your past could have come back around and started a rekindling of a relationship of sorts. You are communicating openly, honestly. You're welcoming communication here, and that helps on this journey. What's the foundation you stand upon, Virgo, for this month? My God, if this card does not stop stalking all of my signs for this month. So I will just let y'all know. The two of wands, this is inspiration. This is the world is yours. You see, the world is in his right hand. So basically, you're starting on something new with someone new, okay? It could be, even if it's someone from your past, which is indicated in the six of cups, it is a new feeling between you both. And so this is the foundation you stand upon. Inspiration to begin a new venture. Passionately begin a new venture. All right. And recent past, we have the King of Cups. So definitely dealing with someone emotional in your recent past, someone who is feeling you. Uh, divine Feminine, this could be your King or Divine Masculine. This is your energy. King of Cups, you are definitely here with emotion, wearing your heart on your sleeve, definitely feeling each other out. What is at the crown of the pairing for the month of July? the empress so again beautification this is someone who's come into her own she's knowledgeable she's wise she's beautiful she's successful she's stable the empress energies for virgos for july okay very good very good uh foundation here a very good spread thus far near future eight of cups going towards a new journey and a love relationship so you're moving into a new direction together this is beautiful how you view yourself in the pairing page of wands so you have the message of passion always you're always here to let your partner know virgo that you're here for them that you still have a desire for them okay how others view you virgo knight of wands so you are here with the message of passion like you're you think you're always here like relaying the fact that hey i'm passionate for you hey i want this with you 
but they see you, your significant other sees you as the knight. Like not only do you have that message for them, but you bring it to them passionately. You show not just through messages, okay, but through actions. You are someone viewed as someone whose actions also display the passion they have for the significant other in the pairing. So this is lovely, seriously. Your hope or your fear in the pairing. Death. So your hope is for transformation, okay? Or you fear transformation or you fear a change because things seem to be going very well for most Virgos in the collective for this month. So the death card here is a transformation. It could be positive. It could be negative. So you fear a negative change or you're looking to a positive change. Let's see what the final outcome is. Ace of Wands. So woohoo! you were inspired at the foundation of it all. You feel like you are clearly relaying the message of being here for your other half or wanting to come together with someone. You are clear with that message. They view you as actually taking action towards this. So maybe you offered a, to go out on a date or you offered your loyalty or you, you, you know, tried to get with somebody physically, you know, you, you offered, um, a good time together. Okay. And here's the final outcome. So you have passion and you end passionately. The hand of God is on the huge staff. So a lot of passion, energy, and growth here for you in this pairing, Virgo, for July. This is lovely. It's going to be passionate. And um, I hope you enjoy it, seriously. Those are definitely energies to want to get to be a part of. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Let's do a week by week for our Divine Masculine Virgo. Week by week for Divine Masculine Virgo. Thank you, Holy Spirit. First week. Pessimism. So you might be pessimistic about the pairing, but let's see. Second week. Clarity. Then you gain clarity, which I knew because the spread was too good. Then you gain clarity about your significant other, whoever's in your heart, mind, body, and soul. Third week, not only after gaining clarity second week, but here you have high priestess energy. So in a spiritual way, you guys are connected. Whoever the spread was about, whoever you're thinking about, I'm telling you while watching this video, you are, it's not just a love soul pairing. It is also a spiritual pairing. Okay. This is a very significant time in your life. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Virgo, because you have a lot of air here, wind, but let's see, could be anyone community fourth week. So definitely coming together in union, in communion, in the community, hanging out, getting to know each other. Okay. So Maybe a little pessimistic, divine masculine first week, but then you gain clarity second, third week, spiritual path is enlightened. You and your significant other are divinely led towards one another third week. Fourth week, you come together in the community, okay? How beautiful. You'll know if it resonates as you look back on this video. My One of my favorite things to do low key is go back to my monthlies for me, for like my son. I check my Aries for June. I check my, um, my Pisces video. So that's my Venus for June. And guess what? It's on point. So we're still in June right now. I'm doing July, guys. You need to check out the June video and tell me if it resonated or not. Let's do week by week for our Divine Feminine Virgo. For July. Thank you, Holy Spirit. First week, child consciousness, having fun with it all. You see the birds up there? Duality, black and white. Beautiful. Second week, we have works. Okay, so you're dancing, you're happy, whatever you're doing in this pairing is working out, child consciousness works, third week, 
child design, okay? So you're very happy. You're very innocently joyful and gleeful in the pairing. Most of the collective is for this month. Last week, joy. How lovely, Divine Feminine. Okay. So everyone... I leave it at that. Let's give you a power of love action for the collective, both divine masculine and feminine Virgo for July or whenever you're watching this, take heed to this final message. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We got a final message for Virgo. Thank you. And there you have it. Transformation. You see the death card that was in your Celtic spread, the transformation. Here it is. You use the power of love to move through illusions and shift into awareness. Okay, transformation. Use the power of love to move through illusions and shift into awareness, Virgo. And that was your final message from the Holy Spirit. Thanks again for watching. If any part resonated, click subscribe. If you'd like a free reading, click subscribe. Let me know in the comments. If you need a paid private reading, it's $11.11. .11, so please make a wish before you hit me up because the answer is always revealed. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And thank you all for watching. Stay blessed.